Blizzard is one of the most iconic companies in video game history. With a small but iconic list of franchises, Blizzard has maintained a dedicated fan base for the better part of 30 years. One of the reasons for their success is game director and vice president of Blizzard, Jeff Kaplan, a community figurehead and all around great guy. Sadly, after 19 years with the company, Kaplan recently announced his departure from Blizzard. Despite a storied career in the video game industry, few are familiar with Kaplan's history before Overwatch. So the question that we want to answer today is, just how important and influential was Jeff Kaplan to Blizzard's history and the creation of its games? Kaplan first became a popular and well-known figure online through the MMORPG EverQuest. Under the IGN of Teagle, Kaplan was a part of the guild Legacy of Steel, which was one of the biggest in the game. Around this time, top guilds were speeding through EverQuest so quickly that the developers had to start putting in roadblocks, which included buggy encounters that were meant to intentionally slow people down so the devs could create more content. However, this decision to put in half-baked encounters created a lot of frustration and anger among top players, leading to various forum posts ranting about the state of the game. Among these players was Jeff Kaplan, who became well known for his vitriol in addressing the problems in EverQuest. Luckily for Kaplan, his guild featured members who were employees at Blizzard Entertainment. This is when Blizzard was still mostly known for real-time strategy games like StarCraft and WarCraft 3. Through his rants, as well as his work making maps in games like Half-Life, Kaplan received a message from Legacy of Steel's guild leader, who just happened to be the lead designer of Warcraft 3, Robert Pardo. This message was an invitation to visit Blizzard's offices in Los Angeles. Obviously, Kaplan said yes. During his time in LA, Kaplan met other guild members who were also working at Blizzard and caught a glimpse of the upcoming Blizzard MMO, World of Warcraft. What Kaplan didn't realize at the time was that the meeting also served as an informal job interview. After a few more similar meetings, Pardo suggested that Kaplan apply for a position at Blizzard as a quest designer for World of Warcraft, a job that was pretty much tailor-made for him. And so, he applied for the job, and on April 18th, 2002, Kaplan announced on the Legacy of Steel forums that he accepted a position at Blizzard to work on World of Warcraft. In his post, he praised the vision of the team behind the game and assured readers that he would make sure to represent the players, saying, quote, I hope that my association with World of Warcraft will serve to comfort MMORPG fans that one of us is on the other side of the fence, looking out for the interests of the player. The collective vision behind World of Warcraft is what really won me over. The folks working on the game are focused on making the world of Azeroth fun for all kinds of players ranging from casual gamer to hardcore people like you and me. To put it bluntly, they don't want you reading a book or watching TV while playing their game at the same time. The game is captivating enough where other distractions aren't necessary. In his initial role as quest designer, Kaplan, along with Pat Nagel, created the game's quest system along with many of the initial quests in the game. The quests that these two created were phenomenal, but according to Kaplan, his favorite quest was actually removed from the game. It was called the Green Hills of Stranglethorn, and it was designed to encourage players to socialize and trade in order to obtain all of the pages needed to complete it. Unfortunately, Kaplan says, quote, All it did was succeed in annoying everybody and putting a really crappy test into World of Warcraft. Along with quest design, Kaplan was also involved in dungeon design and was in charge of the mob placement in the Deadmines. As Kaplan worked on the game, and after several promotions, Kaplan eventually became World of Warcraft's game director. As game director, Kaplan played a huge role in the development of one of the most iconic expansions in the game's history, Wrath of the Lich King. Shortly after the release of Wrath of the Lich King, Kaplan announced that he would be leaving the World of Warcraft team to work on a new MMO for the company. That MMO would later become known as Titan. Titan was a huge undertaking for Blizzard Entertainment. After years with no new franchises, Titan was supposed to be an MMO that hit the same levels of popularity as World of Warcraft. However, as development continued, a huge variety of abilities led to some overpowered combos as well as a cluttered and confusing game overall. Having created pretty much one huge mess, the game was cancelled in May of 2013. Following the cancellation, 40 of Titan's original 140 member team were charged with developing a new game while the other 100 or so members were transferred elsewhere. 
With Kaplan in charge as the new lead designer and game director, the team took the interesting aspects of Titan, mainly the abilities, and repurposed them for a new game. In the end, the team took inspiration from class-based shooters like Team Fortress 2 and the popular aspects of MOBAs like League of Legends to create a new FPS game that fans now know as Overwatch. From the beginning, Kaplan took cues from other prominent game directors, like Hearthstone's Ben Brode, and made himself the public face of the game. Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're bringing you another developer update so you know what's going on in the beta. Introducing himself as Jeff of the Overwatch team, Kaplan's frequent videos kept the community updated on changes coming to the game and the direction that Overwatch was headed. On top of game updates, Kaplan also put out special videos like the Yule Log Christmas streams. His positivity was embraced by the community, and pretty quickly, he became known as Papa Jeff. The Jeff Kaplan of Overwatch was a friendly and down-to-earth person, and was a complete 180 from Tiggle of EverQuest. Bastion. I don't know if this is a declaration of anger against the hero, or perhaps some deep fantasy of this, this person. That is your business. Kaplan was a community figurehead that kept players in the loop and ensured everyone that the Overwatch team was working their hardest to make the best game possible. With consistent and transparent communication and a lovable personality even in the face of heated controversy, Kaplan was a perfect representative for the game. Payload. Now, I know most of you don't know what payload is, so everybody turn to the Zenyatta main to your left and he'll figure it out. You don't have to worry about it. Don't worry about what payload means. But now, after 19 years, Kaplan is moving on from the company, during a time in which Blizzard Activision is starting to lose the confidence of its player base. In line with the slowly declining trust in the company, the community as a whole has expressed their worry with the state of both Blizzard and the still in development Overwatch 2. With the 5 year anniversary of Overwatch and Kaplan's own 20 year anniversary with Blizzard all on the horizon, the timing of Kaplan's departure only amplified these concerns. Kaplan's replacement will be Aaron Keller, another Blizzard veteran and a founding member of the Overwatch team who will be taking over as the game's lead designer. Despite assuring the community that Overwatch and its sequel are in good hands, there's no doubt that something will be lost with Kaplan's departure. Ultimately, in his 19 years, Kaplan has been an integral part of Blizzard Entertainment, from his involvement with World of Warcraft, which set the standard for modern MMOs, to his work saving Titan and turning it into Overwatch, Kaplan will be leaving behind a legacy that the community won't soon forget. So while Jeff Kaplan is another part of the changing at the guard at Blizzard Activision, we'll all always remember him as Jeff of the Overwatch team. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to Jason, Foxy, Lyra, Mauve, Nate, Nathan, Oshayo, Sierra, Shampoo, Weebu, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, Marco, Mookie, and Daniel for being Diamond supporters. Thanks for sticking with us. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, thanks for watching.